This is Case Yellert with Bass Pro Outdoors, and today I'm here with my brand new Old Town kayak. It's a PDL 120 pedal drive, 12 feet long, and it's gonna be a fishing machine. Just got out of the packaging, just delivered. Now we're gonna do some simple setup so we can get on the water and test it out. So they have this rudder protected with some cardboard and styrofoam. So it's just a simple lever to deploy the rudder. Once it's down, you can use this lever here to steer it. Now there's a couple things we need to do to get started here. We need to get the seat in place. We need to put the grab handle on and then put the knob on the, on the steering. Inside the box they send you is the steering knob, the handle, and the pieces you need to put it together. So we're going to put this handle on so that the strap lifts up and over. So we're going to go like this. Just simple two screws here. You don't want to over tighten anything, so you got to take it easy. That'll hold the paddle. Then put the bolt in. Snap this piece on. Now I'll grab the seat and we'll put the seat in. Okay, we have our seat. To get started, you need to unlatch the two latches here. Get the clip started, pull up on the knob, adjust the seat. Okay, I got the tension even on both sides. And then we need to put this strap over the bar of the seat. Latch it and then tighten it down. And then take the other side and do the same thing. That will keep the back of the seat from lifting up. When you get your kit, you gotta put this pipe in, tighten it down so it's centered, so you can set it into place. Lock it in place. And now you are set. On top of here is a waterproofing compartment you can put your phone, some of your most used tackle, scissors, things that you're going to use and keep it right in an area where you can grab it easily. Okay, now we can do the accessories and there's some built-in T-rails here. And we're also going to add a couple. One that I'm going to do is this Yak Attack Mighty Mount, this smaller size. And I'm going to mount it up here so I can put a camera. You could also put other things there, but the one I want is a camera looking back at me and then we'll do one on the back that'll face forward. Simple plate. To install this plate, you need to put 
six screws into it. We're going to start a pilot hole with the drill. One thing you should always do is check before you start drilling holes. Inside this, there's not a whole lot to hit unless you get back by the cables that run the rudder. But it's just a good idea to check it. Totally smooth here. I'm going to line things up. Start with two holes. Once I get it set in place, I'll drill the rest. Key on plastic is not to over tighten things. Now that it's tight, I'm going to drill out the remaining holes. This is one option for a camera mount. It might not be tall enough, so we're gonna have to test it out and see. Once I put that pedal in place, once I put that pedal in place, we'll be able to see what the height is. And that's fine because if it doesn't work here, this mount will work right on the side for that angle. One more thing we're gonna to have to do here is run power to the camera. And what we're gonna do is basically run the wire down in through the, through the top of the kayak, come out towards the seat and put in some 12 volt adapters running off a battery that will store inside this hatch. And that'll let us power all of our devices. Plan on running a couple GoPros, charging cell phone, um, eventually a depth finder, and then we'll probably have to put a bigger battery in for that. Okay, so we need to mount a camera in the back. We got this camera pole. My plan is to try to put a rail right here to put that camera. This one, I'm just gonna do one to start. And then just eye it up and drill out the remaining pilot holes here. the base hmm. now that the base is in place we can set it in there snap it and it is set. Now we can adjust the camera where we want it. And the one thing I want to try with this mount 
is different angles for my footage. So you can come off the side a little bit. And do all sorts of things with that. So lots of cool angles you can do with this camera setup. Do is install our spike anchor. And to start with, I don't know how I want this kayak set up because I've never used one before. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna put these, these holders right on this rail that's pre-installed. Because I still need to worry about in the future installing a, my Hummingbird Mega Live and I need a pole mount system over on this side to run that. And if I put this down on the side like I was originally thinking, things are just gonna be in the way. So before I start drilling holes, I'm gonna keep it simple and just start by using the pre-installed rail. And these T brackets, they just slide right in the notch. And once you get it in place, you just tighten it. And then it's as simple is just snapping it in there and it's it's held in place now when i'm sitting i can take my right hand pop the pole and i'm going to show you how we're going to anchor it to the bottom to use that spike anchor i have this bracket with a hole on the end we're going to install another rail back here i'm going to hang the bracket off like this reach with your right hand grab the spike stick it right here and anchor you down I'm basically going to just eye this up and get one hole started. This one fits right between the rod holders. Okay, T-brackets installed. Okay, brackets installed. Now you just grab your pin anchor, stake anchor, put it through here, push it into the bottom, and you'll stay in place. Okay, and for my tackle system, I wasn't sure what to do, so I just, I splurged and thought, you know what, I'm doing this right. I'm doing this easy. I bought this Yak Attack box that just came out. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna arrange this in here yet because I haven't had a whole lot of experience with the kayak. But one thing I can see is having it here and having this open up like this, I can just reach back and get what I need. But I can just take this bungee on each side to start with 
and that's gonna hold it in place. One last simple accessory is just your cup holder. And you can put more than a cup in here. So for right now, I'm just gonna stick it on right here, tighten it up. Once I get out there and start using this, I can figure out the best way or location. But for now, let's put it here so it's in place and it's really easy to adjust it and move it where I want once I see how the layout fits me. So this is just a basic quick setup on my brand new kayak. I'm not going fancy with the graphs yet. My plan in the future is to put side imaging, a 360 and my Mega Live on this kayak and totally deck it out. But to start with, I just wanna keep it simple. Uh, just go enjoy some small remote lakes and just go catch some fish and get away from the technology for a little bit because I can still use that in my bass boat. So I look forward to having some fun, getting some exercise and catching a bunch of fish.